I would implement healthy habits in the way of like mate like meal prep. So recently I've been kind of doing my my meals for the week on Sunday, my sandwiches, make sure I'm not snacking, drinking more water because I'm not really a water drinker. Uh, trying yoga because I think when you get really stressed with uni that's really important. The kind of health habits, uh, exercising more, um, but yeah, eating organic, 100% organically. As I'm getting older I'm finding that weight goes on very easily, so I am on a calorie controlled diet. Drinking more water, a thousand to ten percent, the amount that it does for your skin, your health and how you feel really refreshed and nourished. Living life to the full and doing at least 10,000 steps a day. 10,000 steps is the minimum. Gym. Gym. <laughs> Start the gym next week and we're going to do some cycling, cycling. as well. Yeah. Back so, on the bike. Yeah. We're going to start doing more walking, more outside, trying to get a bit fitter. Oh Lord, I am I influence going to gym. I'm telling you, I need to sign on to a gym every day I need to go for make myself look good and feel good. I think everyone is conscious of what they're eating. So 2023 will definitely be a year of, I think, eating the rainbow. Thinking about gut health. So yes, I am thinking about my body. I'm trying to drink less. It's not going very well, but I'm trying. And probably try and go out and run more. I used to run loads and I just don't do it anymore. So. I think if something had added protein in it, yes, because I'm like a massive gym girl. So I have like, I I have most of the my protein website anyways. I don't like protein yogurts. I think they taste too like, I don't know, the texture of them is really weird. I mean, you have just like protein bars and like protein pancakes. That's a big one. <laughs> yeah. I'm not into buying a protein based or any sort of uh, Anything that's kind of gone through some sort of testing. I'd rather have a healthy apple or something, or a carrot, or a healthy salad. I do, I tend to buy the yoghurt. Yeah, I tend, yeah, to, I tend to watch things and uh, not buy anything with too much sugar in it. You know, that's what I do. I think the protein, it, it just helps, especially as you're getting older. You know, like with the bones and the skin and just general health. I'm a PE teacher, so diet and stuff like that is quite important. But any, any way you can kind of pack protein into stuff is good. Me, yeah. I don't do like a lot of protein shakes or anything like that. Like a lot of like breakfast bars that have loads of protein in, so maybe stack a few of them in. I work at a hospital, so through COVID we were getting all these things free and we got all these protein bars. It took hours to eat them. It's so chewy. The only protein I drink is like nutriment. That's the only protein. You know that one in the buckle? That's the only protein different from my one a day pop tablet. I eat meat. It's got enough protein in it. I wouldn't be bothered to be honest. As long as it tastes nice, then I'm getting it right there. Getting it straight away, as long as it tastes nice. <laughs>